Maybe. He's oh, here. Please. We were friends and now they hate me. <laughs> Taylor and Travis. Yeah. How do you feel? So good. My yeah, pregnant yeah. ass is like. <laughs> is he due for early January or late January? He's early January. A Capricorn. Love it. Yeah. Unless he's super early, then he'll be a Sagittarius. Said, good luck. But Cody's a Sagittarius. She love it. I love Sagittarius. Luck. The following podcast is a Dear Media production. Basic. You guys mark your calendar because the 97th annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade is here. It's happening. I am so excited. This has been one of my favorite traditions. I just remember being a little girl going over to my relative's house and on Thanksgiving watching the parade. And it's just such a core memory in my life. I cannot believe this is the 97th year. That is absolutely insane. I love how I've been able to grow up with the parade. And every year I get so excited to see how it gets even more elaborate than the last year and the floats and entertainment and celebrities that you see. It's seriously just a, such a fun, wholesome time. And I hope that it'll be around when I have kids so we can have the tradition of watching the annual Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade together. Like literally, that's so weird to think about. I'm not ready to have kids anytime soon, but I do think that would be super, super special. I am so excited to have my whole family and plus like Lily's family and friends over for Thanksgiving this year. I'm so ready to cook everything and just like have a full feast. We can watch the parade together and all just hang out with the baby and just do cute little family it's his things. First parade. It's his first Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And I'm going to make sure that he loves it because he's going to be a Macy's lover like his auntie. Oh, I, I expect nothing less. So get so excited and get ready to celebrate the start of the holiday season with giant balloons, elaborate floats and loads of epic entertainment. The parade will be live from New York City on NBC and streaming on Peacock Thursday, November 23rd, 9 a.m. to noon in all time zones. For all of the fun details, check out Macy's.com slash parade. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Pretty Basic. I'm your co-host, Alicia Marie. And I'm your co-host, Remy Cruz. And we are so excited. We've I'm owed so you this excited. for I, quite some time. I know. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> no, because... I'm just so embarrassed that you thought we didn't want you on. Well, can we can we talk about that? Well, first we, we need to introduce do, her. We do have to talk. We about have okay, okay. the lovely, glowing Kelsey Crapple Co. I'm not really sure which way we're going. You I, know? you know, <laughs> legally it's still Kelsey Crapple. Okay, Kelsey so. Crapple. Yeah. And Co is short for something, isn't it? Yeah. What is it short for? Collagenic. Whoa. Okay. I had yeah. no idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm a Cody super fan. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> it, is, it is short. Yeah. It's. There's a lot of letters going on <laughs> in the in the whole name, so he shortened it like not like legally or anything, just for stage name. Inter- Wait, yes. but yes. if you stage name, name. Sure. if you don't take his last name, would your baby have a have to hyphen? No. Okay, because I was like, you can't do that for their SATs. No, no, no. Oh my god, they would <laughs> never. No, that would be so mean of me. No, all right. Like I will be, cha- I'm in the process of changing my last name. It's just like time, it just is not like the number one priority. Understood. And so it, yeah. yeah. Probably just pregnancy. Yeah. And yeah that understood. <laughs> yeah. That makes a lot of sense. No, I have absolutely. I feel like I'm going to learn a lot in this episode, especially because you're engaged. You obviously got married and are pregnant and you're glowing. And I'm so excited for you. <laughs> Mother to be. I, honestly, we always talk on pretty basic about like, like moms and things, like all these things that we're just like, we have no idea about. And I just feel like I'm going to learn so much. In well, this. Um, like, I, I don't even know half <laughs> of it probably, but I can I can tell you what I do know. No, I want to know everything. I but, do want to know too. Um, we do have to give some backstory. Do you want to let them know about when we when we went on your lovely podcast? They were yes. my first guests ever. Okay, we, we went on a podcast recently and we were like sitting and recording and she's like, oh my God, like, is this your first time being like the first guest of a podcast? And we are like, I was honest and Alicia was like, yeah. I was like, no, we were on no. circle time. I, I was caught and I was like, um, and then she goes, no. <laughs> because it was a big honor it for was, us. It was, we're like, we don't take that lightly. It was an honor for me to have you. Oh my God, truly. I, like I, Thank you. I guess I was gonna say I used to, but I still get so nervous asking people to come on the podcast. No, same. And so I just remember like, DMing you guys and just being like, just like staring at my phone, waiting for you to respond. <laughs> and I was just so nervous. And then you were like 
so nice oh and god. said yes and i was yeah it was great no, oh my god so i was genuinely so honored it was like i felt badly though because i remember i only got like four hours of sleep and so i was like while you were talking while we were podcasting i was like come on bitch you can do it i was so <laughs> mad at myself oh i was my just god. so tired no you were amazing thank you but i'll bring it for the next episode because we are doing a swap we yes, are we go are. listen to the episode i forget when that was probably like a year ago honestly it was yeah like last august because that's when you launched the pod yeah, yeah oh my god so over a year ago we went on kelsey's <laughs> for circle time yep. and we wanted to do a swap with you yes but I guess we made it seem like we didn't want to actually have you on Pretty Basic, which no, I am no, no. so sorry. That's not what happened. <laughs> like you, we had a day and then I got sick. <gasps> That's oh, right. Yes. That's I got right. sick, so I couldn't do it. And then we were like never really rescheduled. Yes. And then like, but I didn't want to be like, I'm ready now. I'm ready. <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, on my <laughs> end, I really wanted you to come on because I love you so much. And I love I, you. I love you. And I remember we kept asking our producer like, oh, can we check in with Kelsey's team? Can we check in with her team? Yes. And I, I, something, there was miscommunication where like either I, obviously you got married, you got pregnant. I think they were just like, oh, she's not doing anything right now. So right. we were like, okay. And I was like, she fucking hates us. No. <laughs> she doesn't like us anymore. I was like, I think she just has like a lot of life. I was like, she's getting married. Like there's a lot going on. It's okay. Cause we had done then talked about it because I was like do you guys want to come back on you were like do you want to come on ours and I was like well yeah I, I thought you didn't want me on. like we were both like wait you want me on yours I want you on mine like it was it was a very like aha moment a kismet so, moment perfect. yeah I remember at the wedding because I told Alicia I was like I think she hates us and she was like no I think she's just busy and I was like okay you're right and at the wedding she's like rah me come over here and she like pulls me over yeah. and she, she was like she does want to come on I was like yeah because well, like, I was like they hate me like I saw you and I was like they hate me they don't want to come us on in the head. elevator like, like <laughs> yes I was so excited thinking that the it. other people hate I really it. did I'm not kidding me too and I was like we were friends and now they hate me <laughs> I'm crying but it, it, it like it's so funny because I feel like that's more common than you think like we Always. get so nervous to like hit up people to come on the pod too like yeah. it's just it's such a weird thing but that's funny because we were at Matt and Patricia's wedding and I didn't know you guys were gonna be there. I was so excited to see you. Yeah, it was amazing. Also, my favorite memory was, I mean, I, I I was definitely very tipsy at this point. It was probably like almost midnight. And I just remember turning around and seeing you eating a burger. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, you're still here? I was like, damn. I was not going home. No, I, it was I, like midnight. And I, I know. I, you with your bump, it was so yeah. cute. <laughs> I feel like I like, I really don't like leaving. I've never <laughs> been one that wants to leave. Do you get FOMO? Is that why? I guess. I'm more just like, I'm here. Like, I'm going to stay. And I'm going to have as much fun as I possibly I can. I love that. That could and not be me. I think, like, being pregnant. And Cody loves to leave. <laughs> oh, so it's the op Okay, that makes sense. And so I think, like, <laughs> but when I got pregnant, I think he was like, oh, we're going to get to leave now. But yeah. I'm still like, I'm not going. I'm staying. <laughs> Wait, I love it. And everybody was going to the bar after. And... Yes. I was like, should we go? And he was like, no. And I was like, you're actually right. Like, you're right. We stayed for the wedding and like, we don't have to go to the bar after. So like, I will give you that one. But I was like, do you think that maybe we should? You're it's like, we should be nice, not. You're just so polite. Yeah. yeah. It would be Sorry, rude of us. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be there at the after party. <laughs> I'm just thinking of all those like rom-coms with like the one pregnant character who's just like at all the things or something. Do you know what yeah, I mean? That is me. so funny. So energy is good. I'm assuming the energy is definitely good. Like it's, there are times when I'm just like completely exhausted, but for the most part, and like first trimester was kind of rough, but like first, like for the most part, I really feel pretty good. Oh my God. I mean, you Again, you're out till midnight. You were chilling. <laughs> I was having a good time. How could you leave that band? Oh it my God, amazing. I'm made. I told her she should hire them. I'm gonna hire you them. Should. I'm going to hire them. You should. I need to get some info, but I will be hiring them. Like I, that's already in the budget. It's worked itself in. They were amazing. It has to be probably very expensive for the quality. I kept saying that was the Eras tour. They went for three yeah. hours. Choreography did not stop. No, I mean, the choreography was was insane. I did love our wedding band. So if you're looking for other options, I'll give you them oh my God. as well. But like, they they didn't have choreographed dances. So I wouldn't <laughs> like, don't, I don't count don't on that. That's on the yeah. budget. I want to be like Simon Cowell and sit there and like have them come into like a, an auditorium and I run like auditions for them. <laughs> yes. I would no, actually they, like They that. actually like wedding bands will send you like 
um, videos oh of them like performing and you can like sit and watch them. <gasps> okay, I'm it's excited pretty, for it's this. It's pretty fun. Okay. Yeah. I have a lot of wedding questions for you, but I'll get to that later. No, we okay. should get into it. Okay, we'll get into them now. Okay. Um, what was like one thing that you regret doing and what was one thing that you loved doing? Oh. Mm. <laughs> I, d- I don't, I really don't regret anything. Oh, good. Like there's nothing... I just don't, I don't think there's something I would change. I thought it was, I loved every second of it. I just loved the fact that like Cody and I, I think something that's like so important is the fact that like we made sure that like the number one thing that was being taken care of was not like the content or like picture, like whatever it was, it was like just the fact that like we were in it together. Like we just wanted to like be together and like experience everyone and see everyone being there and like just be in the moment because it's so easy to like get wrapped up in everything going on Mm -hmm. but like just being in the moment and like enjoying everything and everyone really does understand that like you don't have to talk to them like I think a misconception is that like every you have to talk to everyone and like you have to host and blah 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 but like and you you know like you'll say hi to a million people but like the minute I'm like oh sorry I have to go like oh I gotta go run people are like oh my god go I don't want to take up any of your time no one actually expects you to stand there and talk to them okay and so like don't feel the pressure to do that like just enjoy it however you want to enjoy it like it is literally your day you could do anything enjoy it however you want to that makes me feel so good because that's why I've been so nervous to wedding plan like to start anything I've been so like procrastinating with it because I am normally a really crazy planner. And I thought as soon as it would happen, I'd be like, let's tour things and where's the brochures, bring them out. And I've been so nervous, but I think it's because I feel so much pressure that I'm going to have this big lavish day and spend all this money and all these sorts of things. People are going to spend money to come be with us. And then I'm going to, it's going to go by too quickly. I'm not going to have time to talk to everyone. I'm going to spend the whole night mingling. So I love that. I was like truly thinking I'll get on the microphone and be like, have fun. Don't talk to me. Let's just have a good night. Yeah, I mean, you 100% could do that. Like you could literally <laughs> do anything. That's the other thing. Like you think there are rules. Like you think that you have to do something because it's your wedding, but like you actually can literally do whatever you want Yeah, because you're so it's right. your wedding. Okay. Whatever you want. I pictured you grabbing the mic from the band. I would. Before they start. I'm going to do a full yeah. choreography. I'm joining in with the choreography. Oh God, I will be to. learning. When Patricia you got should. up there, I was like, I felt like I was literally front row at Eris. Yeah. I was lo- losing no. my goddamn mind. No, me too. I kept trying to, wait, I kept trying to wave to the, like the dancers. <laughs> One thing that I don't know, I don't know what it is. I don't know when this began in my head. I've, since I've been a kid, if there is someone, anyone <laughs> on a stage, I will do whatever it takes to get them to wave back to me. <laughs> Like, I'm obsessed with it. Like, I'm like, we need to unpack this. When did this begin? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> what was your first concert? Bruce Springsteen. I- oh, so was Cal's iconic. Really? Yes. Oh my God. The best. I mean, I've been to like six now. Amazing shows. I've heard, and he like takes um, like requests from the audience, right? And just like does them on the fly. I think so. I don't know. He's crazy. He's <laughs> so good. He is like, I mean, him and Taylor Swift are up there for three and a half hours giving it their all wow. every single night. And like, they're like, it's amazing. It really is. Anyway, <laughs> I don't, I definitely like, he wasn't going to wave to me. I don't know where this came from. I think what it stemmed <laughs> from is like, you know, when you watch like, I don't know, any thing ever and someone's <laughs> on stage and they're like, yes, you see them, yes. like you see them wave. Like uh-huh. even, they're like, perform- if, if you see like a celebrity performing at like an award show, yeah. you see them wave to someone in the crowd. I was always like, Okay, this is possible. Like that could <laughs> yeah. be me. Yeah. So like I, I've made it like my life's mission to get oh. whoever is on stage to wave to me. I'm obsessed with this. It's insane, and but I, and I don't even realize I'm doing. Now I now I have because Cody like makes jokes about it all the time, and I'm like, oh my god, I do. I did do he like that. call you out on it? Well, he was like, why are you waving to that DJ? <laughs> You, you at EBC? Like, no, literally. We went to the, like, the opening of Winston House in Venice. Like, this was a few years ago, a couple years ago. And, like, there's, like, a literal random DJ that, like, I, he is, he probably, like, I've probably met him. Like, he's no one. Do you know what I mean? Yes, like, yes. he's going to get off stage and, like, go stand in, next to me in line at the ball. Yeah. Like, he's not doing anything. And I am just like this. <laughs> the whole time every time he looks up from the crowd I'm like 
and I don't know why. And Cody's like, what's so this good. deal? What's the deal with it? So now I, now I'm like aware that I do it, but like I start doing it without even thinking. So when these people were performing at Matt and Patricia's wedding, I'm yeah. standing there like. <laughs> Should they wait back? From- one of the guys closed his eyes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> like he literally was like this. <laughs> you were distracting him. <laughs> it's like, just pick up your hand and fucking wait. It's not that hard. He probably thought you were waving to someone No, else. I made it quite crystal clear that it was him. Because they were doing one of the moves where they like, they looked at the crowd and then they looked away and they looked back. And so he was looking. Every time he would look, I'd go. <laughs> and then he just went. Just closed his eyes and kept going. And I was like, wow, that that's really, really discouraging. You know, may, maybe <laughs> he saw your husband next to you and was like, oh, I'm not going to wave back. That I should was, be me. My yeah, pregnant yeah. ass is like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wanted this a little wave. Oh, with I the was burger. so, so sad. I love it. I'm just like imagining you like in the 500 nosebleeds at Taylor Swift and just being like, <laughs> Nope, exactly. <laughs> oh. Like she could see me. She can. She can see every one of okay, us. Okay, next has... time we are anywhere with a performer of any kind, yeah. I will just be watching you. Look the whole out time. for it. Don't like <laughs> just look out for it because it that's what's happening. No, I can't wait, <laughs> and I can't. I can't even control it. I like feel kind of similarly in the sense where if anybody has uh, is in the point of like command or I don't know, just like a little bit above me like in a workout class or like literally anywhere right I think they're so famous like they are Taylor Swift like they are you know what I mean like I like they say something I'm like you're so fucking right like I'm (laughs) obsessed with them I don't know what it is no it's so true it's like the teacher's pet they are like it's it's really weird like I idolize workout instructors (laughs) for for some weird reason actually that's so true like I follow I, I know a girl like we we have mutual friends we follow each other on Instagram and she became like a workout instructor and now she'll be like, oh, I'm teaching this class. And I'm like, oh my God, that's so cool. <laughs> it's true. She's, like, Wait, it's, it's, she's like a celebrity. No, it's, that's exactly how I feel. I yeah, don't know it's why. So, and it's so bizarre. I don't know why. But they probably feel that way about you guys. <laughs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I know. I mean, I think, what am I doing? <laughs> she's literally teaching a workout class. Like people have to listen, like line leader in school. Like I'm listening. Yeah. I'm there, truly. <laughs> It's true. (laughs) Yeah, Exactly. (laughs) This episode is sponsored by eBay Authenticity Guarantee. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, whether you're looking for a head-turning handbag or a watch that says it all, jewelry that makes you look like the gem, or sneakers and streetwear that make every step feel fly, eBay is making sure the things you love are authenticated by real experts because we all know there's no feeling like real. These days, to know for sure you're getting the real deal, go straight to eBay. When you're searching, just look for that blue check mark. It will say Authenticity Guarantee. That means when you buy it, you can be confident that it's going to be authenticated by real experts through a hands-on detailed inspection. Every stitch, sole, logo, and inch of it. They're making sure it's the real thing. Listen, when you're finally ready to buy that thing you love, you have to make sure you're not going to catch a fake. They're everywhere and it's really tough to tell the difference for yourself. With eBay Authenticity Guarantee, it's easy. Again, just look for that blue check mark and you know it's checked by real experts. Whether they're specialized in sneakers, streetwear, watches, jewelry, or handbags, These are real people who really live for this. That way, when it hits your doorstep, not only do you know it's real, but that feeling you get when you put it on is also for real. Nobody that I've ever met in my life loves eBay more than my dad. Really? He is on eBay 24 seven, truly for any gift, Father's Day, birthday, anything. I'm like, what do you want? He's like eBay gift card. Mr. Cruz, I did not know this. He loves scouring through eBay to find deals, to find you know, shoes. He loves like nice shoes, nice golf clothes, anything that he could possibly want because he loves a deal. (laughs) And the authenticity guarantee is absolutely perfect for him so that he knows that he's getting what he's paying for. Well, now I know to get your dad gift cards for eBay. He loves. I had no idea. (laughs) Love it. Ensure your next purchase is the real deal. Visit ebay.com for terms. It's the greatest time of year. So last year. And a cell. Okay, guys, it's the holiday season. <laughs> Every day I wake up with the biggest smile on my face because the weather is getting chillier and it means it's time for me to gift give. And as you know, that is my love language. And I think I'm going to be using Drizzly this year. 
I love Drizzly so much. I mean, whether I'm going to your house and you don't have any vodka and I need some vodka, or if I'm gift giving to Cal or I'm giving it to, you know, uh, my aunt and uncle, you can get on the app. It's super easy to use. You type in the address and then it'll show you any liquor store, stores around the area that are carrying whatever you want from like beer to spirits to seltzers, whatever. And it'll deliver it to them so quickly. And it's a great way to give a gift this holiday season. Drizzly is the go-to app for drink delivery. And if you are uh, like me, on the other hand, and you just procrastinate and always forget things, it's perfect when you are going over to someone's house, you know, they're hosting, maybe your best friend loves hosting. <laughs> Nothing's worse than showing up empty handed. I mean, Thanksgiving is right around the corner and it seems as though we have all the food covered, but drinks are always something that I forget. So, you know, this Thanksgiving season, if you do come, you know, it's the perfect place to grab a gift for you know, me who's hosting or a friend's giving party, mm -hmm. bring the party, especially with Drizzly. I think it's super cool because every time I get on there to find a gift for someone, I find all these craft alcohols that I didn't even know existed. So if you guys are interested, download the Drizzly app or go to drizzly.com. That's D-R-I-Z-L-Y.com. Must be 21 plus, not available in all locations. Oh Speaking God. of school, circle time. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what a segue yes. that was. <laughs> I actually wanted to talk about more wedding stuff because I feel like, do you have more questions? Um, I do, but again, I've also like not thought about absolutely anything at all. Um, how many people did you have at your wedding? We had about 150. Was that a good sweet spot, would you say? I think so. Okay. I could easily like see who was there and like I had, I feel like I like had a nice little moment with Mostly everyone. Okay, I like that. I did sit down and write down a list of like who we thought would come. And um, it was already at like almost like 220, 230. Yeah, yeah. And I was already so stressed. I got into a, a FaceTime with Alicia to talk about Vlogmas plans. And I was like visibly upset already. It was just, it's so stressful. It's but I was really like, stressful. I was like, Remy, don't invite the girl who cut your hair when you were 12. <laughs> See, that's where it gets tricky. Like at first it was just every single person I've ever met was yeah. coming to the wedding, yeah. you know, like yeah. 100%. And then we were like, okay, let's actually, like you, we kind of had to just be like a little cutthroat about it. Yeah. Cause it's like, if you invite this person, then you have to invite this person, yeah. then you have to invite this person. And so we were like, let, let's just like really actually not yeah. go crazy. And mm -hmm. like it's people understand. Okay. Like, no one was like mad at, I mean, maybe they were, I don't know, but like no but they one can't be, and they if, can't yeah. be. I don't, I don't really. And it's also just like, I don't care. Like yeah. oh, you're mad at me that I didn't invite you to my wedding. Like you have no idea. Some people don't even know how expensive weddings are. Like yeah. it's, it's a big thing. And one day they'll understand, yeah. you know, and yeah. so it's, it's your day. You're not there to like make anybody else happy. Cal was uh, his Except best Cal. friend. Well, Cal also is so chill. He's like, do whatever you want. Yeah. Like beautiful. Perfect. His best friend from college was visiting and while we were making the list. So he was like, Forrest, what was that guy's name? I was like, no, yeah. no. <laughs> if you can't remember their name, if you haven't talked to them pre-COVID, they're not coming. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, it's just not happening. And like Cody and I also like, we had like one, there was like, it was like kind of a rule where it was like, okay, we each get like two to three people where like you say their name and I don't know who they are. Oh, oh, I like that. Cause like there were some people where he'd be like, well, what about this person? I'm like, I, you've never spoken about that person. I've never mm, met that person. Yeah. Okay. But if he was like, no, this means a lot. Then I'm like, okay, I'll take your word for it. Okay. Like a few vetoes kind of like, I that. like that. And okay. same with me, but like for the most part, like we, he, we both knew mutually knew everybody there and like both equally wanted those people there. That's perfect. Okay. This is all really good knowledge to know. I'm no, doing I, some I, thinking. I now. like that because it's true. It's like it's a day for both of you too. I like that idea of like three people or like two people. Yeah, just a few. Because like some, there are people where I'm like, I know you've never met them, but like they're important to me, and they it would mean a lot for them to mm -hmm. be invited. Yeah. But like we had to like draw the line somewhere. But so I didn't want to be like meeting people at the wedding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I did. Like I had to. Like there were a few that I met because extended family or yeah, yeah for sure. Which is like totally fine, but I didn't want to like spend my whole time like getting to know yeah someone. Okay, mm -hmm. I, that's exactly how I feel. Like all his family, I really haven't met a lot of his family. Yeah, so that's all kind of foreign to me. But obviously, they're coming no matter what. Right, and they don't live little, here. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Yeah, but I feel like friend wise, because there's always like you know, it's like what exactly like you were saying, like who's that guy? What about that guy? Yeah, that we spent so much time with, and it's like no, <laughs> you don't know. I don't know him. Yeah, you know, but uh, like a few of those, just don't let it get. Did you have bridesmaids? I forget. Yeah. Okay. I had 10. I love Nat. 
She's amazing. Uh, I'm obsessed with her. She's great. Your birthday party was so fun. I made some nice friends at your birthday party I, you that did. I keep in touch with sometimes. I know. I love it so much. Every time I see her, she's like, come to my house. I'm like, we met once, but I love you. Like, I, she's so nice. All yeah. I remember from that night was thinking we looked so hot when we took a photo. And then the next day <laughs> looking at them and I was like, oh shit. That like, was my entire <laughs> night. That, that, and I'm so happy that that, because that, like, that was... I didn't drink like I, that was my last birthday, like yes. partying. Oh my god! You know? So Us. Oh, it was oh a my great god. time. As no. if you just said you were pregnant. No. <laughs> no, it's true. I think fondly back to that 29th birthday. Oh my god! It was yeah. really fun. It was a good time. That's a good spot too. Yeah, it was fun. I'm glad that you sent it. Also, one last thing about wedding stuff. I remember on your episode or Circle Time when we went on, um, you were saying that with Cody and wedding planning, or maybe honestly, I just watched a video or a TikTok of you. <laughs> Me. I might have not been there. <laughs> At some point, you Either mentioned way. this that Cody was like really chill with wedding planning until there was like one specific thing that he felt very strongly about. Yeah, and that's exactly how Cal is going to be mm -hmm. and will be he's dying on very specific hills and yeah. i feel like it's e but like that means like you gotta like run b things by him because like there were <laughs> there were things where i was like oh cody's not gonna care about this yeah. like oh. i could definitely make this decision and then I would mention it. He'd be like, well, I was actually thinking maybe we could do. And I was like, oh, you do care about that. Wait, that's such a guy way to talk about that's it. Well, sweet. I was actually thinking. Yeah, and I, it, it was great. Like he was so much more involved than I thought he was going to be. And it actually was so nice to do so many things with him because like yeah. day of it was like, we got to see everything that we worked on together. And it wasn't Aww. so much like, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, yeah, I did. I know I did it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it only took 72 hours right, to make right. by hand, yeah. but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> like he was like very much into it and it was like it was a nice thing that wasn't work and it wasn't like it was mm -hmm. just like this like fun little like thing we got to like do together yeah. yeah and it, it was it was nice okay we enjoyed how long it. was the engagement it was a little over a year okay okay i, I like love that too. yeah we got we got engaged in um december 2021 okay and married february 2023 that's actually kind of not quick. That's like pretty on timeline, but with like wedding stuff now they're booked out for so long. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. I think we did luck out because February is not like a super busy wedding time. Yes. So a lot of things were like available. Oh, that's nice. Okay. And so it did work out more like we didn't have too much trouble booking things. Whereas like, I think if we were to have gotten married, like during a sp spring, mm -hmm. yeah, spring or even like fall, it uh, might be a little bit trickier. I mean, I've had so many weddings this year. Yeah. And I, I feel like, I mean, obviously it's getting older too, but when I think of February, I don't think of many right. weddings happening. Yeah, it was it was a good time to do it. What made you guys choose February? Honestly, like, I'm not really even sure. Like, <laughs> because we knew we wanted to get married in the desert. Okay. And springtime is like Coachella. Mm -hmm. mm. And hot as fuck. And too hot. hot. Anywhere, anywhere. And then, yeah, like summer obviously not it's way too hot and then fall like depending on when in fall it can still be a hundred degrees till in november exactly yeah. and and that means like we would have just gotten married like a month or two ago oh, oh. wow yeah okay that and makes like sense. and like we wow, knew yeah. we wanted to like have babies if we could like sooner than <laughs> later and so like we yeah so we just were like let's just like I, I wanted like a year, a little bit over a year engagement. I didn't want to go too long because then I would just start like overthinking everything. Uh -huh. Oh my God. Yeah. And so. Okay, baby. It worked out. Yeah, baby. Baby. <laughs> he's, oh, here. he's here. Have you guys End picked of, a name? Obviously, I know you're not going to share it, but have you picked? We have one name that we both really like <gasps> that we're probably not going to make it like official official until he's actually born. Yeah. yeah. I but, love that. But like even when we like talk about other names we're like oh maybe next baby we'll do that like there's like there's Aww. for this one like we're not finding anything else that we would use okay and people are like already like we like refer to him as that name oh i can't wait for the tiktoks where people like have you seen they try and guess the predictions what they yes yes <gasps> has anybody made one yet i saw one but it like wasn't like I just, I can see like my tagged video so easily on mm. TikTok that like, I'll see one that has like, like I'm the only one that's viewed it. You know <laughs> I what I mean? That up. Wait, low key same, I, I know what you mean. No, and I'm like, I should You're like, do here. I like it? Yeah. That's like the one viewed it's it too. It's so awkward. I'm like, should I like boost this up? Like, Repost. Yeah, and I'm like, how am I seeing this? Like so easy. Yes, I agree. But so I saw one, but it, it like truly, it was like, 
I was the only one who viewed it. <laughs> Just your little secret. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> but she didn't get it right. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I'll tell you guys, but not on like, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. After, yeah. After, after, yeah. After. yeah. Okay. Oh my God. How are you feeling? First trimester sick, but like overall, how are you feeling about overall, being a mother? I'm feeling good. It like, I think it's getting closer and closer. So it's like the giving birth of it all is becoming very real. Okay. And that's really scary mm-hmm. to me. Like it's it's just like inevitable, you know? Like <laughs> it's it gotta is come happening. up somehow. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm I'm definitely like nervous. Yeah. But I'm excited for him to like be home with us. Aww. You guys are gonna be the like best, coolest parents. Oh Agreed. my god. Agreed. I, like, I just you. see how how has it been I feel like with the wedding, you said you made it less about content and stuff, which which is like so refreshing. How do you even start to even think about, do we show the world our baby? Do we, like, what do we keep yeah. private? What do we put public? They're going to be family vloggers. Yeah, obviously. The co-family. Yeah. <laughs> no, I unfortunately don't think that's in the cards for us. <laughs> but I, it, it's really tough to think about because it's like, it is our career and like that this is our job and it's really hard to think of like a soft like a sweet spot Mm -hmm. when it's like another human involved that doesn't that can't like make these decisions for himself yeah but like when you really think about it like that it like makes it like we're not gonna be putting him online Mm -hmm. but like I will be vlogging and like I don't know how my vlogs will look like it's it might take a minute for me to like get back into it because I don't know what it's gonna be like and like if I'm not showing him but all I'm doing is like making sure he's alive for the first few months. Like <laughs> it's going to be hard to vlog. Yeah. And like, I'm so open to talking about like my experience as a mom, mm-hmm. but not so much like his personal life. Yeah. Surrounding like, the content around him. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Because it's just like, he's not telling me that I, like one day he will know that we were posting these things and it like could be really yeah. upsetting. Yeah. And like, I, you have to like respect him even though yeah. he's a baby like he's a human yeah, oh God, yeah. absolutely yeah also I feel like there, there was the wave of family vloggers and I I it's, at least to me it felt like there was one way to show your new baby yeah and then now that they're all growing up I saw a TikTok um this was a while ago but it was saying how within the next few years all of those like OG family kids are actually going to be old enough to share their side of the story so right. it's going to be very interesting to hear that you know it's yeah. gonna probably be very similar to you know, child actors in Hollywood, honestly. Um, But now there's this whole second wave of a lot of specifically moms, mom vloggers being like, I want to share my life, but I am going to, I'll show their face up until they start looking like a real person or I'm going to like put emojis. I've seen that. Yeah. 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 So it's nice knowing that you can find what feels good to you. Cause obviously you know your baby better than anyone else, you know? It's just tricky. It's like, Sometimes I I go back and forth because I'm like, if we're so blatantly not showing him, how much like hungrier for that will people be? And like how I don't want it to be like a, like a situation where people are just dying to see any glimpse of him that they're just like really looking for it. So it's like, if I give a picture, yeah. then I I'm in control of what's being shown. Keep them fed for a bit. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm like, I just don't want to. Yeah. Like, it's, Even getting stopped in public, like, and yeah. you're, you have him with you. you right. Know? Even, then I'm like, okay, if you, like, if I meet you out, I'm mm. not going to be like, not nothing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, you can say hi to my baby. Like, yeah. it's fine. But, like, I just, I, I don't know. The internet is too big and too scary and too unknown. And I just, like, I, it is, like, my only job to keep him safe. Mm-hmm. And I just like nothing else matters. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like my I, vlogs, unfortunately I don't, I'm sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but like, I love it. Yeah. But like my vlog, like I love vlogging and I love the people who watch my videos and stuff, but like, that's not my priority yeah. anymore. Like my priority is keeping my kid safe yeah. and like comfortable and happy. Has any part of you questioned if you even want to continue doing social media? Yeah. I think I go back and forth with it just because yeah, I mean, it's just, like, a crazy world, especially then just, like, being a mom. But I think, like, I would miss it if I wasn't doing it. And I just, it's more so that I just need to find what works for, like, us as a family and yeah. putting our family first and then 
figuring out my path and my how my career will look and it might like take a bit like I don't know when I'll just like jump back into it but like I can't see it like me not doing this anymore would you ever have the circle time set at your place so you don't have to like drive in as I would I mean I like I'll I'll do solo episodes from home okay and stuff it's just like when I have guests Mm -hmm. It's easier to just go to the studio because it's more central, you know? Oh my God, totally. So I just like... You're like, I have a set. <laughs> Fake fan. Yeah. I, I don't. It's a Okay, bed. thank God. I sit, I, I like, thank I God. sit in my pajamas like <laughs> it, on like a random bed. Like it's not a set at yeah. all. I'll do it from home when I can. Yeah. Well, but, I was thinking like that would help with balance and stuff, but I, I think you're going to figure it out. I love how you're giving yourself a lot of grace of it's going to take time to figure out the exact content or whatever. Cause obviously it's your life. Yeah. And this clearly is going to be a huge part of your life. Right. But also wanting to keep it private and, and safe and, and just your guys's, you know? Right. Yeah, exactly. And it'll take a minute, but I think we'll figure it, we'll figure it out. I've really enjoyed Lauren Giraldo's videos. I'm sure you've watched them cause she yeah. just had her kid. Like, yeah, I think the content's been so interesting seeing it. Cause it's all about her experience. It's really not right. about the the kid where again, those OG vloggers were all just like all him, his face, like yes. everything. Yes. And I've, I've learned so much just watching, you know, right. I'm like, I didn't know you had to do, you had to wear diapers. Like, I didn't know that. Like totally. little shit There's like that, so that I'm like, Oh my God, I'm, I have no idea. It's, it's wild. There's, there's really a lot, but yeah, we even like, cause you know, we like use cameras every single day. Like I'm, we're always like filming yeah. something. Yeah. And we got like a camcorder that like oh, we're gonna just for him just for like actual like home videos because I'm like I don't want him to think that like I want him to know like when I'm working and like that it's not like for him yeah wait I love and I like that. I want to keep it so separate yeah. and like let him know that like if there's a camera in his face it's not because it's like work yeah I love that I love that also knowing because you know how no matter what whenever there's a camera you're somewhat on. But yeah. if it's a camera that you know actually the internet's not seeing, it's gonna be completely different. Right. You like know? I my parents, like I have so many home videos, but I was never like, where's this gonna go? Or like, yeah. are you working? Or like are you who's gonna see this? And like cause like he'll grasp the concept that like Yeah. You know he'll, an audience. Yes. Yeah. But like I don't want him to, honestly. And like I don't want him to know that like camera, that means you are on and that means that everyone is gonna see this and that means that there's an internet and yeah. I just want him to be like these are home videos. We'll watch them one day when you're older. You and Cody are going to have some crazy like documentary about yourself in like 20 years and like these videos are going <laughs> to yeah. be in it. <laughs> I'm seeing a Maybe. Netflix. Yeah. Uh, that's I think why I'm that's doing so it. sweet though. <laughs> I really do. I think like also the, the mental shift that you'll have from just holding a different camera and knowing where that's going. Like it'll, I feel yeah. like that'll really help you a lot. So you guys know here at Pretty Basic, the only thing that we love more than shopping is a good deal. What do I always say, Alicia? Nothing tastes better than a deal. Nothing tastes better than a good deal on all of your purchases. And that's why we are using Rakuten this holiday season to buy gifts for loved ones that we love without breaking the bank. For those of you who don't know, well, you probably saw on TikTok and maybe you just didn't even realize that it was me, but Ashley flooded her bedroom after she moved back into the house. She did do that, yeah. So, you know, that was expensive and just things add up. You know, life gets expensive, little things add up. So, I'm here for finding a good deal and we're not here to gatekeep either. We're going to we're going to tell you guys how we get our best deals. Insert Rakuten. You guys might have heard us talk about Rakuten before. I seriously have been using Rakuten since I think honestly like I started online shopping in college. My family are Rakuten lovers. Like when I called my mom and my aunt and told them that we're getting sponsored by Rakuten on the pod, they were so excited. Like they love it so much. And it truly is an absolute game changer for your shopping. I feel like some people still don't understand how it works. And I'm like, no, 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 no. You need to use it. Not only are you getting the best deals out there, you can earn cash back when you shop at thousands, literally thousands of brands across almost every single category you can think of from beauty, home stuff, fashion, electronics, traveling, literally anything. So no matter who you're shopping for, whether it's for someone else or yourself, (laughs) or yourself, yourself, you'll get cash back. And honestly, there are places and stores that you're already shopping at. It's not like there's only three stores that count. I'm talking Nike, Majuri. You guys know I love the Majuri rings. I feel like they're, that is one of the 
my go-to gifts. Like who doesn't love jewelry? A little dainty jewelry. I also actually saw this video of Hallie Kate, the girl that has the dachshund that you love. Yes. She posted this TikTok of her talking about her breakup and she was crying in it. And it was like really beautiful and vulnerable. But I kept looking at her hands because she was talking with her hands and she had these like really cute rings on. But I wasn't going to ask like in that <laughs> video. But then I did scroll in the comments and just someone commented, but okay, where are the rings from? Oh and she was like, haha, Majuri. So I will Majuri. be purchasing those this Black Friday. What else? Nike, Levi's, Ray-Ban. Ray-Ban, I, I just, I recently got the Jamie sunglasses. Ooh. I haven't gotten, like, I have received the most compliments. Ooh. Kind of vintagey vibes. I Love. think, have I seen the ones? Yes. Okay, yes, yes. You were one of the cute. people who complimented me. Yeah. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> also, Stuart Weitzman, which uh, Alicia and I love Stuart Weitzman. No, when I tell you, Oh, those heels are worth the splurge. I have not had a more comfortable heel. I have gone through so many heels for events or carpets or or weddings or whatever. I can dance all night in the Stuart Weitzman shoes. And yes, they're a little expensive, worth it. Use Rakuten, get your cash back. Guys, it's a, it's a done deal. Let me just tell you the night that we met Lana, uh, I was not wearing Stuart Weitzman heels, which is why I was sitting on the bench with my shoes off before the event even started. But Alicia got me on Stuart Weitzman and they have changed my life. Guess what I was wearing? Stuart that's why it I could stand for it. That's why I could stand all, all day. Up. She was just standing there just watching me sit, <laughs> sit and cry. So comfortable. Also, as you guys know, Alicia and I love Black Friday sales. And from Black Friday through Cyber Monday, you can get up to 15% cash back on stores that you are already shopping at, which you can stack on top of holiday deals. So basically, guys, you're going to get so much cash back. These are the highest cash back rates of the year. Last year, I actually got Lexi and Taryn Dyson Air Apps, and they are obsessed with them. It was such a hit. They basically text me, I want to say every other day, anytime they use it, they'll send me a photo being like, thank you so much. I love it. And you can get Dyson under Rakuten's Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. Also, let me just say that again. You can stack on top of holiday deals. So you're going to get maximum cash back and membership is free and easy to sign up. And it literally takes like two seconds. Rakuten's cash back for Black Friday and Cyber Monday is going to help us save so much this year. Rakuten is a total game changer. We are not dreading holiday shopping this year because we know we are saving money with Rakuten's cash back. Start all your shopping trips at Rakuten.com or get the Rakuten app to start saving today. Your cash back really adds up. My mom is seriously one of the hardest people to shop for. I always really want to get her something meaningful. And I've, I recently found out about StoryWorth and this is something I am actually getting my mom for Christmas. I already told her about it. So don't worry, no spoilers. She is so excited. StoryWorth is an online service that helps you and your loved ones perceive precious memories and stories for years to come. I just love how it's really thoughtful and meaningful and it connects you to those who matter most. It's actually really innovative. So StoryWorth will email your relative or your friend, in this case, my mom, very thought provoking questions of your choice from their vast pool of possible options and each unique prompt asks questions that you've never really thought to ask. Like for instance, what's the bravest thing you've ever done in your life? Or if you could see into the future, what would you want to find out? And then after a year of getting these questions, StoryWorth will compile all of your loved ones' stories, including photos into a beautiful keepsake book that you'll be able to share and revisit for generations to come. One of my favorite things to do during the holidays is sit with everyone, go through old photos and tell old stories. So I think that's such a beautiful thing to bring it out at like Christmas dinner, Thanksgiving dinner and talk about it and look at everybody's answers. And then also it's cool because your answers will probably change every mm -hmm. year and you can look back and be like, oh my God, in my twenties, I was thinking this in my thirties, I was thinking that. And it's a beautiful memento to have to carry on for generations to come. I just love this idea of gift giving. I love giving gifts that mean something and are thoughtful. With StoryWorth, we're giving those that we love most a thoughtful personal gift from the heart and preserving their memories and stories for years to come. Go to storyworth.com slash pretty basic and save $10 on your first purchase. That's storyworth.com slash pretty basic to save $10 on your first purchase. Your community is so, they love you. Everybody loves you. I feel like everyone's going to respect whatever you and Cody decide to do. I think so too. Oh, I, I really like, I feel so lucky that like the people who watch our stuff like respect our wishes mm -hmm. and it's it's been it's been great and so I, I I trust that like it will be totally fine I believe that even we had Bretman on and we were saying like he has a a, a similar audience where they just like adore him. And when he was dating somebody back in Hawaii, he would go, he asked like, please, I don't want to show my boyfriend or anything like that. And people on the Island would like obviously run into Bretman and the boyfriend when they were out and about. And there was never a photo of the boyfriend ever taken. See, That's amazing. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. and I, and I really do think like, I think that people will totally respect it. Mm -hmm. I think so too. And I'm very lucky that it's not like, 
paparazzi and stuff that we have to deal with. It's just like people who know us, you know, and I think like it's it'll be it'll be fine. I'm not like worried about like I would be excited if like we saw someone who watches our videos in public and they like got to see him. Like I would be like, oh, it's nice. Like you get to see him, you know, don't take a picture of him. Don't post it. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice that you can see him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Also, you take a little mental picture. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not like, I would never like hide him from like, I wouldn't put him in a picture. Like if a fan, like yeah. if someone asked us for a picture, I wouldn't yeah. be like, <laughs> you're holding him up. Sometimes like, I do that with Chili. Like, like lying. I'll be walking Chili and someone will ask for a picture. I'm like, one second. And I like bring him into it. But, chili. but the child will not be in any of those Wait, pictures. has Chili been obsessed with the bump? Not really. Uh, he's like, he loves to, he's always been like very much laying on me. Mm-hmm. Like he's, he's always been just my little man, you oh, know? He's him. so cute. He's perfect in every single way. Uh-huh. Um, But like, so that hasn't changed, but it's not like he, he doesn't like notice that there's, I think he's just like, okay, now she, she's round now, <laughs> you know? How so do like, you not think, sure what's going on? Yeah. How do you think he'll be and the cats will be with the baby? Well, we just had our best friends just had a baby in end of August and they literally left this morning. They so they were staying with us over the weekend. Oh fun. And so there was like a she's like two months old. I love seeing how they interact. And with yeah, I was like, How is this gonna go? And he was so sweet. Aww. He like every time she cried, he'd stand up and like just like look at her and like oh, he was like gentle. He was so sweet. It was great. Like they know. They definitely like he can tell like this is a human. A little human. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I bring I'll have babies oh around. God, sorry, sometimes. I just burped. I cannot control the Oh, burps. you're so good. Don't apologize. <laughs> yeah, like I'm burping and throwing up in my mouth twenty four seconds. That's oh, me all the time, and I'm not even pregnant. <laughs> I throw up in my mouth all the time. I really do this morning. Um I always love having babies around with the dogs because I'm curious like what's gonna what it's gonna be like and one of them who is my my firstborn she is I was the most nervous for her and she does not love babies because she's like yeah they like I think they themselves like think to a certain degree they're a baby the other two are like so cute so I'm like okay noted um such a random tip and I'm obviously not a mother but if you want to listen to me. I do. Um, Cal's parents, when he was born, they were so nervous. They had a corgi and they were so nervous that the corgi wasn't going to like Cal. So they kept them separated for a long time. Okay. And then after, I think like maybe a couple months, they finally like let them kind of meet and the corgi hated Cal. I think because they put that divide up. Mm -hmm. So when I was talking to Cal's mom, she was like, if, because my brother just had a baby. And so okay. she was like, if they've learned anything, like have them interact right off the bat because it kind of formed this like resentment. And so the dog started to like, uh, started by like pushing Cal over initially. Oh, and then he started to kind of like sad. nip at him. So they had to um, rehome the doggy. Yeah. They had to rehome Cal. I also <laughs> heard if you, when you come, when they rehome Cal. <laughs> <laughs> I also heard if you, have some of the baby's clothes before meeting them, bringing that to the yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen. You're yeah. like, I've read all of them. Yeah, sorry, no. sorry. No, I love it. Are you kidding me? No way. I'm, I, I need all of this, but I've, I've seen that. And I yeah. think we'll probably do something similar. Cause like, he'll probably be like staying with my parents, like when we're in the hospital. Yeah. And so I feel like we'll give them something to like take home to him to sniff. I have faith in Chili. I really do. Yeah. I, I think do too. Sometimes he surprises me, but um, <laughs> for the most part, I like, I know what's coming. What were the cat's names again? Ham and brisket. Ham and brisket. Yeah. yeah. Cats are pretty chill, right? I feel like they'll just kind of be around. They're chill. Our cats, I will say, like, they are very cuddly and very, like, like everybody's laying on me a lot. 24-7. Yeah. Cute. So I think they'll be a little bit more involved than, like, a normal cat, but in a good way. Good. They're, okay. they're sweet. I just need to learn how to clip their nails better because. Oh, I'm sure they hate it. They hate it. And, like. I tried before the baby came to stay with us this weekend. And like, I got like a total of like six out of the two of them. And I was like, this is as good as it's going to get. But oh my God. Well, comment below if you know anything. I don't yeah, have cats, any tips and tricks on cutting. I'm sure there's like a board that they yeah. scratch there's, there's, there's like scratchers and stuff. They but just like, to. they don't fully like file them. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to, my cats are very, they love human food. So I think I'm ham. gonna yeah, but ham's <laughs> ham's the easy one. Brisket, brisket, brisket like sees. We call him Cocaine Bear <gasps> because like like truly that is him with 
with food. Oh like he like God. cannot see anything. Tunnel vision. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. And it's so funny when we watched that movie, he sat and watched the entire thing. Stop. Like he was like just staring at the screen. <laughs> and we were like, he sees himself like, in that this bed. Is a Black Mirror episode. Yeah. yeah. It's That's wild. So cute. Do you think you'll be getting an epidural? Yes. I agree. She's so against them. I'm not against really? them. I'm not against them for at herself, all. For herself. Yeah. I just, I'm so competitive. And I know I should not compare <laughs> pregnancies. My mother never had them. Okay. And I'm like, if my mother, if you met her, you'd get it. And she's like, no, I just wanted to experience it natural. And I'm like, if you did it, like I can, no, I can do this. I totally understand. But I think like more power to you. I really do. I think it's amazing. I, I just like, I'm... I'm okay. You know, I actually don't need to. It's going to be funny if for whatever reason you don't. And then I'm like, give it to me. Oh, I'll be getting it. Well, because sometimes like if things like progress fast enough, they can't give it to you. Like sometimes you just happen. Yeah. yeah. Truly like this is what I've learned is that like you can plan all you want. You can think, you know, exactly what you want to happen when you get into the hospital, how it's going to go. You can have a whole birth plan, but like you have no idea what's going to happen. I already said this one pretty basic, but you'll scream. My mom, when she was pregnant with me, is like, hmm, I'm thinking I'm having some cramps. Like, I should go to the... She drove herself to the hospital. Okay. They check her. She's 10 centimeters dilated. Stop. <laughs> she had no fucking idea. You're, okay. I don't know. You're saying, like, she's if you met my mom, you'd, you'd get it. But, like, she sounds like she's, like, really she hulk. Yeah. <laughs> I literally... She said, all, like, they're freaking the fuck out. That's But that was her crazy. second. No, insane. Insane. Also, she's we just like recently. Courtney when Courtney pulled the baby literally. out of her vagina. No. But she just had hers. Oh, she one. did. Yeah, yeah, she did. She did. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. my Pilates instructor was like, "I can see you bending over and like pulling the baby out," and I was like, <laughs> "You do not know me." I, I literally said, "Or I said I will absolutely not be doing that." <laughs> um, I don't want to see that. I'll be having Cal like waist up. Like you're not going down. Like yeah. you're behind me the whole time. That is one thing that I'm pretty set on. Mm-hmm. Um, is like kind of. Just keeping some of the mystery <laughs> there, like some allure for Cody. <laughs> yeah. Like I just, it is, I, we watched a birthing video when I was, I think must have been in like seventh grade. Uh-huh. Were you scarred? I can still see it. Like oh I can God. see it in my head right now. Like I, li- I will never be the same. After I, I never had way. to watch one, especially one like middle school. Yeah. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I saw like the full baby coming out of the vagina. Mm-hmm. There was, and it was just head on for like, <laughs> like not like a, there wasn't an artsy shot at all. Like they were like, this is what it looks like. I and I'll never was, forget it. Mine was ninth grade health. I wonder if they just sent, like showed the same video you to everybody. The same yeah. one. Yeah. I remember a lot of red. That's like a reddish pinkish color. That's oh, all I remember. I, I just, I'm, I just remember being like, that is a really, that is a big <laughs> hole. <You're> like, <laughs> <laughs> and so, and I'm like, if I, like, if I still haven't forgotten about that, like, there's no way that Cody's going to forget. <laughs> I think and I'm like, like I'm so know. scared of, of pooping myself. That's what I'm the most scared Oh, I'm scared, scared of. of that too. <laughs> but like, they're, the doctors are so chill. They've seen everything. Yeah. Like, it'll totally. be fine, but yeah. that's what I'm scared But of. I've talked to, like, my friends, like, who have given birth recently. I've been like, did you poop? And, like, one of my friends is like, I have no idea. Didn't want anyone to tell me. I, I love that. I love ask. that. I'll never, I'll never know. Yeah, I love that idea. And she was like, I don't think so. <laughs> but I wouldn't know. I am I couldn't tell you. I, mean, I kind of love that. Yeah. yeah, but, like, and then one of my friends just had, like, air freshener, like, right by, <sighs> like, there in case <laughs> when I didn't even think about the smell I've just only thought about like but is that because well, you pooping. can't feel it like well if yeah. you get an epidural like you yeah. don't even really know <laughs> are you allowed to spray that or is that like contaminating the air I think probably it's fine like it probably depends yeah on, like her doula brought it yeah like I think it's prop there's probably some sort of one that's fine that's like natural I think I'd have I a don't I don't really know a little essential oil exactly a little poopery i think you could probably use like an essential oil diffuser in yeah, the room more natural Cute. yeah do you have your bag packed up it's not till january correct yes have we packed but anything yet it, i've not packed anything okay. yet that is a little early yeah 
It's you, gonna be here. Before you would have we know it packed it. like before I knew I was pregnant. It's packed. I mean, it's like I'm 32 weeks right now. <gasps> I'm 38 weeks today. Are you gonna do the sound? I have to. I think it's 34. 34. Okay, oh yeah. God. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. I'm no, sorry. I know. I know. And my my friend missed, and she was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> she literally texted me and was like, "We fucking forgot to do the Kylie Jenner thing." And I, I want to like, be pregnant okay. just to make that yeah. TikTok. I'm not even. So kidding. I'm 34 weeks today. Wait, it's actually coming up. Yeah, That's two weeks. Like two weeks, <gasps> which is crazy like time actually so it flew has by flown. for the most part yeah oh my god Good. yeah it's like it's because it's also one of those things where it's like january doesn't seem far mm-hmm. but yes. but like when you say 30 like i'm 32 weeks and like full term is 40 that's and like he could come at 37 like yeah. it, like that's like oh that's five weeks from now like that's nothing is it is he due for early january or late january he's early january a capricorn love it <laughs> yeah unless he's super early then he'll be a Sagittarius. Said, good luck. But Cody's a Sagittarius. She love it. I love Sagittarius. Good luck. <laughs> I love Sagittarius. I mean, what are you? An Aquarius. That's what I was hoping he'd What's be an Aquarius. Cal? An Aries. Interesting. What are you? Libra. Love. My moon and my rising are both Libra. Wow. I don't know what that means. <laughs> wow. Honestly, me either. <laughs> what is what are you what are you? I'm an Aries. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is why because oh, Cal's an Aries. Yeah, so I feel you get like along that's with- where Cody does not give me Sagittarius. Real, I see. I don't know. I've I've always just thought they were amazing. Yes, <laughs> and they are, and they absolutely. I are. think you're a liar. And they absolutely are. <laughs> She's I, like, good luck. I know. No, I'm so now. I'm curious, but I feel like it depends. Like, I like a Cancer man. I'm like absolutely not. But I agree then with some that. people are probably like they're great. <laughs> and know? that's what co- and that's on compatibility. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. true. That's exactly. very true. Honestly, you could tell me anything and I'd say good luck honestly. Like it, it just if it fits mm-hmm. if the shoe fits. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know. He's a good Sagittarius. Yes, yes. He yeah, is. that's all that matters. Yes. So I'm sure people like someone out there, if I said I was a Libra, would be like, ugh. Oh, I shit on Sagittarius all the time and all the comments are like, why? Hey. Just personal experience. Yeah. Which I understand. But I also have realized that like girls, like I, like a lot of my best friends are cancer girls, but cancer boys and I don't mesh. Mm. What's your brother? Um, Leo. Ooh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, but. no, me. I don't know. Much, Sorry. I've just I, got a lot of thoughts. Of no, I, and I would love to know that. <laughs> I love a Leo. Leos are like very like center of attention. Like Bretman is a Leo and he's a Leo through and through. Okay. Very much yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Kevin's a little, like my brother's a kind of shy. Yes, I've noticed that. Oh, yeah. thought- How's his, um, didn't, remember when we went to lunch and you were saying he just like, he had just completed some test and we were celebrating him. How's he doing? He's well, great. <laughs> He's amazing. Thank we, you for asking. Yes. I don't know why, but that really stuck with me. He got he had, like, li- he's like a licensed insurance. Um, He like works in insurance. And so he- I don't remember yeah. that. I do. For some reason, I really remember and that about I Kevin. I don't remember sharing it, but like, I'm happy that we got to celebrate him. And I'm happy Kev, that it stuck with me. Kev, I'm so proud of you. Every single day. So proud. <laughs> Every single day. If it wasn't lunch, it was a TikTok. No, I remember. <laughs> I've definitely never spoken about my brother's career. Um, and so this is an exclusive. The way that I remember the most random things. No, same. Anyways, though. Okay, so bag is not packed. The bag is not packed. Okay. Are you going to do like a cute little like TikTok, like your base weekender? I like- actually do have a base weekender for to. the occasion. Oh my God, amazing. Yeah. I thought I've always wanted one and I thought this is a perfect opportunity. Oh yeah. Be, They're the best be bags. Me. They really seem like it. And, except Yes. And I was listening to Jackie Schimmel's podcast, which I feel like you should do like a crossover because I, it, we should, I get told that often. Be so good. And she just had a baby boy. I know. And she brought like, um, L- candles like um battery operated candles and like oh. a, a diffuser she like she made it like a spa okay so i do i do kind of love the diffuser idea mm-hmm. mm. i would do sorry don't, don't almost a big one. Um, <laughs> i do like the diffuser idea i haven't thought too much about it but i it's like the time has come oh my you know God. the time has come where i need to start thinking about it it's true and then thanksgiving's gonna go by fast and christmas, christmas. and then oh yeah you, no are you, you were just in new york for the marathon, right? Yeah, that was our last flight. Oh my God. I was going to say, you were on a plane. <laughs> yeah, the doctor said, like, she recommended, like, not flying after 32 weeks. So, Dang. yeah. Out oh with a bang, though. Yeah, my cousin's getting married in beginning of December in New York. And so oh. we couldn't go, unfortunately. Oh. So, 
we wanted to see her celebrate with her and then Cody's doing the marathon so it was a fun little Got casual it. so you're here yeah. for <laughs> until the birth here until the birth ah. yeah oh my god is he like is he running every day is that also a dumb question he to runs ask? all the time well he's doing a trip um he's running from LA to San Diego what the fuck yeah next week <laughs> I mean, it's insane. How many miles next is week? That? Yeah, next week. Is he okay from the marathon still? Oh my god, never been better. Are you kidding me? Um, I just don't get it. I don't, how many miles is it? I don't know. It's thirty-three miles a day for four days. Oh, it's like overnight. <laughs> Duh, yeah. Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's, gonna, he's gonna do it in like four hours. I was probably. like, it takes four hours just to drive there. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, what was the one he did in Canada that was like insanely long? He did like in. Um, like an ultra marathon in Canada. Yes, that's right. That was like a hike mixed with like a run type of thing. And then he did the Ironman also in Australia. Oh my God. For, when you first met him, was he always into like that t- kind of stuff? He would like run, like he would like go on runs and stuff. And I know he, he did a marathon like a month into our okay. relationship. Cause I was going to say, have you like had to learn a lot about Everything? I know more about it than I ever thought I would. Like <laughs> truly, it's kind of crazy. Like, so, and I had a, like a moment like this when we were in New York for the marathon because, like, you go for marathons. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you guys know this. You might. They have like an expo before, and so you go uh-huh. and you pick up your number, and then they have like all of these little stations set up where you can get like, um, like food and stuff for like during the run like little oh, gels the goo gels the i gels. was gonna ask if he likes yeah. the goo gels okay. yeah and i was looking for like this specific one that i know that he likes like i'm like and i was like i never thought that i would know so much about <laughs> that's so sweet i didn't even know that like goo gel <laughs> like i didn't know people ate those things when they ran yeah have you tried one no, they scare me. I'm so intrigued to try, try one, but one. I would love to try one. Just come over. I have so many. I would love. There are, I'm sure you're like, these are the this kind if you want this, yeah. and the endurance <laughs> yeah, package yeah, yeah. if you want that. Right. <laughs> There's so many gels in our home. So like, please. I would love to try one. I'm on that side of TikTok for some reason. I'm on marathon and like bicycle TikTok for some really? reason. Yeah. I couldn't even tell you how far 5K is. Me either. Clearly, which is why I thought. A 5K, a 5K is 5K. like three miles? No, I think, I think. What's 10? What's a 10K? I had no idea. <laughs> That's why I was like, Quick oh, Google search. He's running to San Diego. A 5K is three miles. Oh. 3.1. That 3.1. makes, ah. that actually makes sense. Okay. I tried to do the couch to 5K, like the app, couch oh, yeah. to 5K. And the minute that it transitioned from like, cause it, cause it starts you off like running and walking intermittently. And, but the minute, the minute that it, it changed to, um, just running <laughs> i stopped i'm out i completely stopped and i was like i hate this at least you tried though i wouldn't I even try, try that yeah and i think i'll try again i think like i think i'll just keep trying like yeah. i can't run right now obviously um but like a little piece of me is getting the itch again and i know that shortly after i'll stop <laughs> oh. <laughs> but like it's nice to have the itch do you yeah. think it's the itch because you can't do it and then as soon as Probably. you can, yeah that's that would be me too 100 <laughs> percent. yeah you always want what you can't have like, totally that goo's looking great yeah, like, oh, I, I can go for a little goo right now actually no can you imagine if i needed a goo for like the like the one mile i'm running it's like a pre-workout <laughs> yeah <laughs> have you had any like weird pregnancy cravings not like anything crazy okay really it's, been, it's it's, I've had cravings for things and then I have it and then it usually goes away. Okay. But there, there have been certain things that I've like fixated on. Like right now I'm on this like very big matcha because you can't have like, you can't have, you can only have a certain amount of caffeine Mm -hmm. and Starbucks is the only place where I can kind of get the info on how much caffeine is in each drink because they have all those nutritional facts and they make a little like note that like it's kind of estimated but they have like the estimated amount of caffeine yeah whereas like other places unfortunately don't and so it's just it's just easier to go in the starbucks app and it says it like i i wish i could just like grab a coffee from like a really good spot but like i don't know what i'm working with then so i've been like much i i know generally how much is in it and I've been just absolutely fixated. Like matcha, one pump of peppermint. Oh, so good. And vanilla foam. Oh my God, that Let's sounds amazing. It. It's so good. And like, it's a it's a little sweet, but I'm like, I don't give a shit. No, that like, sounds it's, delicious. So I've, 
I've been having one of those every morning. Oh and like, I wonder God. when that will change. But like th- that kind of stuff is, has like, I, I have like a lot of things that I just like have been doing, but then they just eventually go away. Like tomorrow you're like, I'm over matcha. <laughs> like, like very well. Could, that could 100% be the case. Actually right now in this moment, any like food things specifically? Not really. Like there, there are things that I see and I'm like, that sounds good. I have it. And then I stop. Like I made a list. Like okay. if I'm scrolling on TikTok and I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Like I have like right now it's like apple pie. Ooh. Like some, like they're like an apple crumble situation. Yeah. Wait, I just saw a TikTok of one and it looked so good. Yeah. It might've been the same one I saw, <laughs> but like, and but then I forget and like Cody will be like, what do you want? I'm like, I don't know. But then if I look at my list, I'm like, oh. But a lot of things have been <laughs> knocked off. Like, I really wanted, like, fried rice. I had it once, and then I was like, okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, so not, like, a fixation. Just, like, no, a single okay. one time. Okay. But I have noticed that a lot of the things that, like, sound really good to me have some sort of cinnamon. Oh. Have, like, a cinnamon thing going on. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very fall. I'm so Super curious. Fall. I want to make you an apple crumble now. I want you to. Can I make you one and <laughs> deliver it to you? Yes, but you don't have to do no, that. That's all I do like every day. That just doesn't, that sounds like inconvenient for you. That's like my dream. I'm not even kidding. Please okay, let me. Literally. I'm not going to not let you. Okay. But I'm, <laughs> like we won't speak about it again. <laughs> I'm going to text you and I'm going to bring it over. I always tell people, invite yourself to my house because I will not invite I'm you. I'm the same. I never invite people. I'll feel like I'm like inconveniencing you. Like I don't want anyone to be like, um, sure. That's I'll my go. Libra. I it well that maybe that sense. is a thing. Yeah, I will be making you one and I'll be driving it over. Perfect. And then I'll give brisket a little pat and I'll leave. Yeah, he'll love it. <laughs> Cody's gonna be like, you made her drive out here. I'm like, um, no, no, I don't even know why she came kidding? here. Cody would be like, fuck yeah, apple crumble. <laughs> like he would. He doesn't care. It's just me. But he's actually a really good baker as well. Oh, oh. And so for a while, I was really craving um like strawberry shortcake. Oh, oh yeah. But like. Just okay. I I actually watched. You know how Sydney Carlson does like baking videos. Yes. She made this like strawberry cake. I saw that one. That looked good. And it was just like white cake frosting and like fresh strawberries. There was oh no God. like syrup. There was no. I don't like the syrup. I don't like like mashed fruit. Ah. It was just like fresh strawberries, frosting, and cake. And he made that. And I that one I'm thinking about often. Oh, okay. I would love to get that one again. Sydney? Lightning fresh. Yeah, Sid. Can you, can <laughs> Deliver one up for me. Yeah, every week or like every day of the week, just have someone new bringing something over. Yeah, that sounds like my dream. Just keeping <laughs> making people make um, me something and then drive it, it to me. I, I would not feel guilty about that at, at all. all. <laughs> You just like a postmate, like, hey, just leave it at the door. It was like, yeah. 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 <laughs> Strawberry shortcake sounds really good right now. Um, we're talking about food. Well, I wanted to ask, how's Cody been as a new found almost father? He's great. He is um, just so like supportive and patient. And all of the things that I've always really loved about him have just amplified. Um, it's also nice because he like has a pretty... Like, um, his head is, is on straight, you Mm. know, and he's like very even keel and he like is very logical. And so like that helps when I'm feeling a little bit like crazy and emotional and which has just been amplified ever since I've gone pregnant, I feel like. So he's been wonderful. I'm glad. I love And he's just so excited. Like we're both just really, really excited. So... I feel like yeah. you guys have always made a good team. So it just makes, it makes sense that, Thanks. you know. I I could never fake something for the internet. And so what you see, like, I'll also be honest if like we get in an argument about, like I'm not one to, like our, like no relationship is perfect mm-hmm. ever. And I, I really want like people to know that it's not always perfect because I don't think people should strive for that. But like our the communication and like the love we have for each other and like the team that we've created is like very very much real have you guys done like birthing classes yet we have we have one coming up in a few weeks but we did one like breastfeeding class oh my god to like learn more about breastfeeding because there's actually so much more to learn than i realized like it's not just like it's not easy also i (laughs) again i feel like i just sound so dumb I always, I always thought it was like a one stream situation, but it's like a shower. Like 
Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's not just like an udder with like one stream of milk. It's there's like multiple. Yeah, there's like Shut <laughs> Yeah, crazy. no, I know. It's crazy. I, it's like But also where do you learn this? You know? I yeah, I mean it's that's why we took the class cuz I was like I feel like this isn't something I should go into blindly. Yeah, I get that. And there's a lot to learn. And it's like a it is like a full-time job breastfeeding. There's yes. Yeah. I, I honestly I just feel like the whole um, subject and the idea and the stereotype that like, if you don't breastfeed or like, you know, that the conversation, if you don't breastfeed, then like, you're not a good mom. Like, I just think that's so fucked up. And I think that it needs to change personally. I, I think that there's just a lot of, there's just a lot of factors that go into it that are out of your control. Yeah. And it's not just a walk in the park. And so I think that like nobody, like I think like a fed baby is the best mm-hmm. way yeah. to have a baby. Um, and so I like, I don't want people to like, I don't, I don't like the fact that if someone can't breastfeed, they're like automatically shamed. The shame yeah. around yeah. it. Yeah. Cause like, I don't, I plan on breastfeeding, but I don't know what it's going to be like when he's here. Like you yeah. really have no idea. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to produce mm-hmm. and, and how he's going to latch or like whatever it is, mm-hmm. you don't know. And it's okay that your journey is not like everyone else's. I just think there's so many opinions online. Yeah. And especially when it comes to babies and kids, like there is there is not one experience that's universal. Everybody experiences these things differently and like every child is different. And so like to tell someone like that what worked for you is the right thing is really tricky because that just not, there's not... That doesn't go There's for not everyone. one right thing. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I feel like you having background as being a teacher, like that also just tracks because it's like you see 20 different kids with 20 different personalities right. and 20 different ways. And you're like, there's not one way that they all even learn. Let alone, you sure. know what I mean? Yeah. That's, yeah. And that starts at like birth. Like yeah. it's, it's not, it's not like, okay, you have a newborn now. They're going to sleep from this time to this time. And then they're going to wake up and then you're going to feed them. Like, yeah you have no idea what what their schedule is going to be like you have to like it's really hard to plan you know? I, I just commend mothers I commend parents in general Me I have two two more things that I want to talk to you about yeah one of which I would like to talk about what hot people eat because it's my favorite TikTok <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> I was gonna bring that up earlier and then I want to talk about Taylor and Travis but we'll get into Ooh, what hot people eat first two of my favorite topics I figured okay um big fan of the account Thank in you. general I've been a, an OG follower <laughs> um since um truly the beginning I loved the lasagna soup one if you guys don't that follow was one of my favorite it was so no it was so good I didn't make it it looked delicious. Um, I mean, we didn't create the recipe. It, no, but it, like the yeah. way that you just snap the noodles in, so good. Um, Kelsey and Cody have a, a, I feel like it's like not a secret TikTok, but kind of a secret TikTok that you guys just We don't eat. really like promote it, so. <laughs> no, I'm, yeah. a, I'm a big I fan. And um, recently I told you about the chicken salad chick thing where yes. I also had this love for the podcast, How I Built This. And like right. there was one, they always do like, you know, they had like Soul Cycle, Whole Foods, like really big right. corporations. Right. Um, and then they had that one episode called Chicken Salad Chick. Yep. In the depths of 2019, that Never I forget. I didn't think anyone else loved it as much as I did. Oh, it is ingrained, ingrained <laughs> in my mind that. forever. Did you listen to that episode? No, but I saw the TikTok. Yeah. Oh no! And when we were talking, when we were scheduling this, yes. Remy brought it up, and I literally was like, I feel like I'm missing a huge. I wish I had joke. waited to tell you, like yeah. the the sadness I felt. So obviously, when we went to Alabama, I even when the episode came out, I was like, where can I get to one in California? Right. I mean, you can't. You can't. That's the trickiest part of the whole. <laughs> Wait. So situation. the whole the whole the whole premise is eating what hot people eat. Um, it, the whole premise, <laughs> the, thank you for asking the whole, whole content. a lot of thought came from this. Like we sat for hours mm-hmm. thinking, <laughs> how, <laughs> what should we create here? Um, but the, the premise is that we are the hot people. Oh yes. Yeah, I know how'd you not be, put that together? It'd be confusing. Sorry. So, so, so sorry. It's okay. You're like, so you just, you uggos go and you try. <laughs> 
you try like what pretty people eat, right? <laughs> I thought it went without saying because I didn't even describe it, but okay. No, no. So okay. we have declared ourselves the hot people. Obviously, mm-hmm. got it. Yes. And it's what we're eating. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Easy to God. misconstrue <laughs> the two. We would just be an Erewhon all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah no, it's, it's, I know, I understand the confusion mm-hmm. there. I just yeah. pictured someone like Sydney or, you know. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. Sydney, I'm going to come for you as soon as this baby is out. I'm going to be just as hot as you. Okay? (laughs) Okay, I'm going to subscribe. No, it's so good. Okay, back to chicken salad chick. So it was completely mid. I was so upset that I forgot about it while we were in Alabama till I saw what hot people eat. And I I was delighted to see it was just okay well the, i do think it had a lot to do with how we ordered <laughs> like i we ordered so poorly <laughs> that like it's almost a bummer because it's like we're not going to get back out there to get chicken salad chick anytime soon yeah but like the comments were like you guys are so stupid <laughs> like how could you go and order the two things you ordered and then say that it's mint like it <laughs> we were wrong because i did have the buffalo one on the side oh, and that one was good it was good okay yeah it's simply a chicken salad restaurant and um cody owed a, a like a what did he get like a cheese sandwich or something yeah he didn't even get any chicken salad <laughs> but i love like the genuine disappointment when like he realized when you were like no i i would try to say it and he was like wait he was like i got a uh, pimento cheese and chicken salad and i was like no, no. <laughs> You got pimento cheese. And he was like, what do you mean? There's no chicken. And I was like, I tried to tell you that while you were ordering, (laughs) but you just, you went for it anyway. Got it. I mean, I guess that'd be equivalent to in and out and someone getting like grilled cheese. Like, or even just like, I I do like the grilled cheese. No, it's so good. good. It is really good. Oh my God. That's funny. And that makes so much more sense. It's my favorite account. What, like, where do you guys draw inspiration from other than Sydney Carlson? Yes. Besides (laughs) being as hot as Sid, we, we really like, I don't know, like we just like eating. And so it's just like fun. And I love watching videos of people eating same so much. And I, oh my God. Yes. (laughs) Anyone, like literally anyone. If I, if someone's like, like when when you do cooking with Remy, <gasps> I am like I'm honed so, in. Really? Thank you so much. Even with the jelly and the eggs, so. I could watch you eat that. I'm so never good. gonna eat it myself. So good. So but like good. I, if someone's like, "This is what I'm eating right now," I'm like, "Okay, let me see." I do love watching. There's people just eat, yeah. something about it. I just love it because it gives me ideas about stuff that I could eat, but also like I'm like. I don't know. I just love it. I'm a In nosy bitch too. Me too. I just want to know. Yeah. Me too. I feel oh that way. Oh my God. Okay. This is great to know. No, yeah. It, you got to follow it. It's, and then so, so we were like, I don't know. And we both just get like so excited about food. I don't know why we decided to do it. Like we were literally just like, we should post this. And then we just made a separate account oh, and good. did it. And it's been, it's been fun. We need to like get back into it. Like we're starting to get back into it again. You but guys kind of get to the point where like you get free meals and do things. your do your matcha. Be food reviewers. We could be food reviewers. You could be. Do what? Do your matcha. Oh, I could. And I then guess. make Cody get it with you. He does. He gets it with See? me. Drive through the morning. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh my god, you're so. And then right, you can stitch it and try it. I'll try it. Yes. Yes. I mean, I will too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this that's the thing. Like, I think like that part of my brain. Like, I don't. I, sometimes I'm like, I forget that I can just like post things that people would want to actually see it. Like, I'm like, nobody <laughs> would want to watch that. And then I'm like, no, I think maybe a couple people might. <laughs> but and, and so I just like forget to post so often because I'm like, I don't know. I just like, and, and it's such an issue because I... I could be doing so much more. Oh my God. I would love to see a vlog. It could be filmed over the next eight weeks or until baby is here. Yes. But like your maternity, like fixations are in food and then you eating it and being like, yes, that's what I wanted. Like you're okay. craving and you'd be like, that's what I wanted. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll take note of that. Yep. Thank I'd you. love it. I'd love I, it. I appreciate it. Cause that. then I would watch it and be like, yeah. I need the. Yeah. Also when he gets older, I'm sure he'll be like, what did you crave when you had me? And, sh- and then he that's could watch true. it. That's true. Then he could watch that it. That could be really sweet. Yeah. These are great ideas. Ideas Thank you. to take home. Last but not least, Taylor and Travis. Yeah. How do you feel? So good. <laughs> so good. I feel <laughs> just so like good. on top of the world. <laughs> like it just feels like everything's right in the world. You know? Do you really actually feel that way? No, I'm obsessed okay. with them. They're, it's like, it's so deep in my subconscious. Like there, I dream about him 
often. I had a dream about him too the other night. <laughs> I did. No, I, I think it's happening to a lot of people out there. I would, I guarantee Pete, there will be comments on this. Like it's, he's like infiltrating my dreams. Yeah. And it's crazy. He's so hot. I know. <laughs> I'm so happy for our girl. I wonder what he eats. <laughs> I know what he eats. He has a line at Walmart now. Oh. What? Of what? Of barbecue foods. What? Pre made barbecue foods. Baked oh my God. beans. Wait, brisket. we should try a promo. I've been trying. I've tried I've gone to two Walmarts. I can't seem to find it yet. It's Wait, it there's also know. like no Walmarts in LA. He's done every brand deal under the sun as well. Have you guys noticed oh that? Oh my god, yeah. He is booked. 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 Yeah. But he's he's doing like national commercials. I'm obsessed with him. You know? <laughs> I'm obsessed with him too. And I'm obsessed with her, obviously. And so like the two of them just coming together really was like, like, cause I had watched his podcast with his brother. Yes. Since they did the Super Bowl together, did the Super Bowl, like they collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> but like they did. Can you <laughs> they went to the Super Bowl. that I just said that like that? Since their teams played each other in the Super Bowl, I've been like, these brothers, they're phenomenal. Yeah. I've always thought he was like cute, both of them. Yeah, they're so cute. And- so I've just like, I've always, like I've followed their podcast for like a year now and seeing, and then when he's talked about like wanting to give Taylor Swift his phone number, I like, I, I thought to myself like, that would just, that would make your life, Kelsey. Like, <laughs> I was like, if that happened, like I literally like remember watching that TikTok and being like, that's crazy. Like <laughs> your two favorite people coming together. And then it's now it's happening it's and happened. I like can't wrap my head around how excited I am and this is insane but like his last name is my name I was thinking about that when you were talking I didn't even put that together till right now like it's she different. says my name all the time so, she's isn't like, that crazy she's obsessed, she's obsessed with you, with you. Yeah. <laughs> and like if they did get married I don't know I like people are like they're gonna get engaged whatever I don't know if she want even like would want it I don't know mm -hmm. I don't know if they're gonna get married I do think that this is end game. You do think that. I do. In one form or another. And she could be Taylor Kelsey. Then she would literally be Taylor oh Kelsey. Oh my God. If I mean, she'd be Taylor Swift forever, but like. Yeah. She'd be Taylor Kelsey in, in like in a your heart. metaphorical Taylor sense. Taylor Swift yeah. Kelsey. No, I'm sure. Yeah. Wow. I'm really happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you so so much. Much. I know. No, I feel very similarly. The, I sobbed during the Kelsey Bowl solely for his mom. And like, I. I actually cried, I'm not even kidding, yesterday because I was watching TikToks and you know, like when the mom, when Donna saw Travis and he was like, mom, this is the best week of my life, this no. best year of my life. And then she sees Doesn't Jason. See Jason. No, I know. I can't even. Like, it makes me cry I'm every soft. single time. I've watched that video in like so many different forms because like so many people have posted it. <laughs> it is like, and he's like. When he says, and it was so like, fun watching you this week. I and he's know. crying. It's like insane. And he's like, go celebrate with Trav. Uh -huh. And I'm like. I just, it's so, it's perfect. It's so good. Yeah. It's, it's so good. Yeah. I, I saw this conspiracy. Your smile. No, I she love just it. Stopped smiling. Um, I saw this conspiracy that, you know how when he went on New Heights and was like, I tried to give her the friendship bracelet. Allegedly, they've already been together. And that was like his way of like dropping to the world. Like, maybe i okay i i don't love that okay <laughs> it's not I, not working for you no not, it's not really it's working, not working for me, me because then i'm like don't bamboozle us okay like don't lie to us like mm. if you want to like mm -hmm. i don't think you need to be like open if you want to protect your relationship not talk about it like that's totally fine yeah i don't consider that a lie like if they didn't mention something yeah but like don't be like, she didn't want to talk to anyone and I wanted to meet her, but yeah. like you already knew her. Okay. I then, see then, that. I, then I'm like, okay, well, that's a lie now. And now, now you're making me out to seem like a, <laughs> like an idiot. And you know, and I'm not is an idiot. <laughs> you know, one thing I'm not an idiot. So don't pretend like we're all just stupid. You are very emotionally invested. <laughs> I am. I'm also just emotionally invested in everything because of being pregnant. Yeah. So this is this is a good place to put it all, I feel. I think it's a really good it. choice. I do. I like can't wait to tell my son about like this one day. I'm like, you, you when you were when I was pregnant with you, the biggest story was <laughs> Uncle Travis. We, we didn't we didn't know them then, but it was just Uncle Travis and Aunt Taylor and yeah, I mean now they're just your uncle and aunt, but back then 
<laughs> he literally grows up to be six, being like, when am I going to meet Uncle Travis? <laughs> I'm like, they're touring, babe. <laughs> <laughs> they're doing the Super Bowl yeah. again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we've talked a lot i'm so excited to talk on your pod we're I doing a wait. swap so yes. if you don't know what that means go listen to circle time which is kelsey's podcast yep. and um we will obviously have it linked or whatever so you guys can easily find it um we're gonna take a lunch break and then <laughs> record the next one <laughs> yay but thank you guys so much for listening where can they find you um, you can find me, uh, my Instagram is just my name at Kelsey Kreppel or my YouTube channel is the same and circle time is the name of my podcast, circle time pod on Instagram, whatever, wherever you find your podcast, go listen to circle time. And <clears throat> if you've seen, <clears throat> some- oh, and what hot people eat. <laughs> I was yeah. like, did I forget? Is that what you were <laughs> yes, referencing? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And go follow our famous food TikTok <laughs> where two ugly people eat food. At what haunt people eat. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>